Today you are cycling along the Côte d'Azur. You are full of anticipation, but at the same time you know that this tour is going to be a tough one. Because on a schedule is the route de Kreutz. A panoramic road that connects the coastal towns of Cassis and La Ciotat, where you start your trip. It is considered one of the most beautiful roads in France. It will be mostly uphill, but you are well prepared and set off. You knew it and right from the start it's uphill. All your strength is needed to move forward. Step slowly, get used to the strain you say to yourself. It probably won't get easier, but you're getting better and better. You motivate yourself as you cover the first few meters of the route. Phenomenal start. The first part is done and your body has gotten used to the physical effort. You get to the exit sign of the town and you know that now all you have to do is keep going until you can see the ocean. You have to laugh a little, as it sounds so easy, but you are well aware that this will challenge you a lot. You approach the first serpentine, knowing it will not be the last on the way up, but it's a welcome change after the long straight road. As expected, it continues uphill. Your tactics are clear. Keep moving and let the beautiful scenery distract you. And then you're rewarded with beautiful views faster than you expected. Just a few minutes ago you said the tour would be over once you saw the ocean, but you didn't expect to see it long before you reached the highest point. Of course you don't stop, you just keep going. And with the beautiful view it's a little easier. The road winds its way up, not quite as steep as at the beginning, but still climbing steadily. But you've already been captivated by the enchanting landscape. It's the variety that you like so much. The serpentines open up ever new perspectives on the surroundings. The rugged limestone mountains and the fragrant vegetation of the Provence, with its pine trees, white rosemary, theme and Mediterranean oaks. As beautiful as the ride has been so far, it's undeniably exhausting. It's all the more rewarding when you see how far you've come. To your right, you can see the town where you started. And you can even see the road you've been riding up. You're totally impressed by how far you've come and how high you've gotten. While many car drivers and motorcyclists have passed you, you've done it with your own muscle power. That feels so good. And right away it gives you a boost to move forward a little more energetically.
just remember how happy you were when you took the first turn. And now you've taken so many turns that you can no longer count them. Yet you look forward to each one. Because around every corner you're surprised by new views that resemble postcard motifs. The road doesn't want to stop climbing. It feels like it's getting steeper again. A little relieved you realize that you must be about halfway. You started at about sea level and your goal is at 380 meters. That means you have to go up nearly another 200 meters. Which sounds crazy. But despite all the effort you know you'll make it. Slowly you start to clench your teeth. It feels incredibly hard right now. This constant strain is hard. But you stay positive. You are already extremely proud to have made it this far. Which you realize again when you see the houses in the valley where you started. Which already seem incredibly far away. Also the thought of what is to come keeps you positive. The view will be worth it. And your body will reward you as well. This is the next step to your dream body. Somehow you've made it to the next band. And the only thing that keeps you going is this view and the knowledge that you're getting closer to your goal with every meter. You're already so high up that you're not sure whether the altitude or the view is taking your breath away. You've made it two thirds of the way. You can almost call what lies ahead a final sprint. You encourage yourself to enjoy it. Despite the extreme exertion, it is simply unbelievably beautiful to be able to do sports here. This is one of the most strenuous bike rides you've ever done. The goal is clear, yet feels so far away. So you try to think in stages, from band to band. And at some point around the band, you'll see the ocean and now you've made it. It is this thought that motivates you. So far you've been surprised with scenery and views around every band, but also with a new climb ahead of you. But you're starting to feel like you're close to your goal. When you look up you don't see any big hills anymore. There can't be much more uphill. You're relatively sure that you've done most of it and knowing that you paddle a little harder. The anticipation grows and you literally fly into the next band. As far as you can see, it's no longer a steep climb. For the first time, it's just straight ahead. This unleashes a whole new energy in you. Although you're already totally exhausted, you just keep on going. It's probably the last time you see the city down by the sea. The next stop is the viewpoint overlooking the ocean. Or briefly, your destination. Now you've reached the best part of the tour. The views from up here are absolutely stunning. 
and you can hardly believe it, but the road is actually downhill. You pick up the pace and just let it roll. All the effort is forgotten. You're almost there. Now just enjoy the last few meters. On the climb up, he doubted that you would ever make it to the top, but he didn't give up. You've been dreaming of this view all along, and now you're here. The ocean and the up to 400 meter high cliffs in front of you. All alone, you made it, and you can celebrate yourself for that. You made it. I'm impressed. That's moments we move for.